Okay, this morning I've taken out the engine and the gearbox, stripped out the engine bay of everything, tinware, all the all the um, uh, all the water, all the cooling stuff. Um, the only stuff that's in there really now that's left in there is, is the is the wiring, which is hanging loose uh, along with the, um, the, the the junction box, the fuse box, whatever you want to call it there. Um, yeah, the engine and the gearbox. I so dropped them out this morning. I've separated the two of them out there now as well. You can see the engine blue head gasket towards the end. Um, see where it's been pissing the water out. Uh, okay, so now, yeah, so now everything's ready now, um, more or less. I've just pulled everything out, like I say. Uh, I'm going to get underneath there. I might do it today. Um, I'll, I'll put the um, I'll put the lid back on, the engine bay lid back on. Get underneath there. Just made it to stop the sand going everywhere. Um, but I'll get underneath there with the uh, the sandblaster. Um, and uh, give it a good blast out underneath here, not to take it back to metal, but really just to take off the loose stuff, any any rust, and and um, and to key up the existing paint ready for um, for a little bit of a freshen up. Um, obviously, a bit of a slightly different colour. Um, I'll probably just do it black to be honest with you. Uh, underneath here as well, it's all got to be painted, uh, shot, blasted, and painted, and um, I'll use the old shuts under seal on there as well. Uh, get that ready now for the. Um, for the fuel tank that's got to be fitted up there before uh, before that would be the first part of the project I suppose really getting the fuel tank all in place um, that's basically it for the moment I'll uh, yeah yeah next up um, sandblasting okay so that's um, what I've done now is I've uh, been underneath I've um, sandblasted all of the um, the the rear half of the um, of, of the van uh, and giving it all a clean up and then sprayed um, after treating areas of rust with uh, with uh, special paint I've um, I've used shots all over um, that area of the vehicle so underneath the um, underneath the wheel arches has been under sealed uh, most of, more importantly underneath here where the um, where the fuel tank's going to go that's all been um, cleaned up and, and, and under sealed as well um, I've also I've also carried the um, the other seal up into the um, up into the engine bay, which I'll overpaint. Um, probably I'm just going to leave it black, to be honest with you. I'm not going to bother doing it body colour. Um, I'll just paint over this with uh, probably some matte back paint. I've got, I've got plenty of it. Um, but yeah, it's all um, it's all ready now for um, getting everything ready to to start fitting. I'm quite pleased. I love this shirt. the way it comes out. Um, yeah, looks looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, so um, uh, makes a bit of a mess though. So uh, yeah, and there's the uh, there's the engine bay as well. I right, say so what I'll what I'll do is I'll um I'll actually um I'll actually overpaint that too. But yeah, the next job now is going to be to um to measure and drill the holes for the uh, in the um. Cross member underneath there for where the um, <clears throat> for where the uh, gearbox mountings go on to. I've already do, done one side. I'll do another the other one now. Work out. I'm going to fit the bolts behind the back, um, and then the next one will be to um, I'm going to have a look at the centre cross member. This is the uh, centre cross member off of the other um, off of the donor vehicle, which is quite a lot quite different from the two wheel drive one. Um, I'm just assessing whether how easy it's going to be to take the two-wheel drive one off and, and replace it with this. I, like I said before, I don't really need to because I can adapt it. But um, but I'd like to try if I can. If it's only going to be a day's work, or a few hours or whatever, then I, I, I might as well just do it and try to do it do it right. So um, I'll have a look at that in a little while as well. But no, we're cracking on. We're cracking on. Okay. Um, what I've done now is I've if I just get in here, probably it's not a lot of light, but Okay, so what I've done now is I've um, drilled the um, the holes for the uh, the gearbox mounts. Well, I've, I've already done one. I've done that a few months ago. This one, where is it? Where is it? There it is there. I've done that one for the um, the near side, for the left hand side of the vehicle a little while ago. Um, uh, I couldn't get to this one at the same time because the water pipes ran along here. I dropped them down today, and um, I've uh, I've drilled these. Um, in here for the the other mount um i've got to decide what i'm going to do now um and how i'm going to um do this i mean obviously the um the, the standard ones have got like a um 
have a, a, a captive nut welded behind here um, for each of the holes. <coughs> um, uh, I've, I've seen different ways of doing it where people actually they feed a hole a, a nut up for, or a bolt all the way down here and drop a bolt hanging down and you can you can uh, and, and then like tack weld it onto there so you've got bolts coming down um, and then you just use a nut. That's one way of doing it. Uh, the other way of doing it would be to say go through the top um, just cut a piece out of the floor and and weld a, a captive nuts in there. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm got a, I've got a, a cunning plan in mind, but I'll have to um, I'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, making progress. Got them in place now. Okay, moving on to the centre cross member. Um, I've started to um, drill out the spot welds for that. You can see I've done it from above. I've just started. Pulling it away. I've got a um, I've got a cut, obviously along here as well. Take these out. But basically, what I'll do is I'll take the whole cross member out, and um, and, and replace it with um, with the synchro one. It's lying around it somewhere. A um, bit more work, really. I didn't really need to do, I suppose. But while I'm down here on my back, I might as well get it right. Um, not saying it'd be wrong not to do it, but um, I've, as I've, I've took the trouble to get the old bit off of the um. The donor van, I might as well use it for the sake of a, a couple of extra days work and a little bit of welding. So, um, so I'm hoping now to um, to uh, to get this off. Uh, kind of a bit of barrier now because I can't find the, find my goggles, my eye protection. So I've got to go to B&Qs and get some of them. So I'll, uh, I'll I'll finish this off, take this off tomorrow, and prepare it to weld up the um, the centre cross member or the old centre, the synchro centre centre cross member onto um, onto the van. And the um, the centre cross member has been removed. Um, came off in several pieces. Just prepare it all now for putting the um, the synchro member cross member in. That was fun. Yeah. So now I'm just going to prepare the um, clean up on top along here where I'm going to put the spot welds in. Um, mm. These are the bits that go to those little uh, riggers that run along it. I've got to drill through there. Put another couple of holes in there where the old spot welds were, so I can get it from brown there. But um, yeah, I'll just clean it up, get it ready for welding, and stick it in. And the centre cross member is now in. It's been welded in. It's nice and strong. And this is it from the other side. So uh, what I've got to do now is I'll um, I'll get the uh, sandblaster underneath here, clean this up, um, make sure that all the exposed metal, all the welds is all uh, over painted probably with the same Eastwood rust uh, encapsulator that I normally use and um, then I shall uh, underseal it with a short up to just uh, probably about here just to the front and um, yeah probably the next thing to do after that is I'll, uh, the next part of the project is to um, sort out what I'm going to be doing I'm going to do this captive nut thing with the uh, gearbox mounts and then install the, the fuel tank